So now in this video we're just going to take a quick look at measuring current with a multimeter for those of you that like quick videos. We need to make sure the red probe and the black probe are in the right spot. For this meter, black probe's always at calm, red probe only moves for high current. We're not measuring high current, we're just in the milliamp range right there. We can leave the red probe there. Other multimeters, you may have to move one or the other uh, probe. And uh, so we got milliamps there, we'll come back to that. We are uh, only going to work with 5 volts right there and we have a 1000 ohm resistor protecting an LED. Right now there's an opening because you need to complete the circuit with the meter. So we'll look at that uh, coming up. So we'll uh, have a maximum of five milliamps because it's a 1000 ohm resistor. If we just measure the resistor, the LED is gonna lower the current even more. So we can just set this to uh, milliamps. If there's numbers, you gotta make sure the number of uh, milliamps in this case is higher than what you can expect. If you put more current through a meter while measuring current than what it's set for, you'll likely blow a fuse within it. It doesn't limit current. It lets whatever current uh, is applied to it go through it. And uh, so that's how it protects itself. It has a fuse. So in any case, there you can see when we measure the uh, current through the LED in the resistor, we got about uh, 2 milliamps of current, which makes sense. We have a 5 volt power supply. This is a 1000 ohm resistor, so for each volt across it, you'll get a milliamp of current. Right now there's 5 volts across it, and uh, so we got 5 milliamps of current. If we come to the LED, the LED, since it's blue, drops about 3 volts from the uh, resistor. So now the resistor has about 2 milliamps of current, a little bit more. But in any case, you can see a little bit more than 2 uh, milliamps of current flowing through it. So it's that simple. Always make sure you turn off the multimeter, especially get it off of measuring current. As I said before, it doesn't limit current. So if you think you're going to measure voltage of the power supply or whatnot, and you don't have the current limited, too much current will go through the meter and you'll blow the fuse. So it's best to get it off of milliamps of current so you don't accidentally measure the wrong thing. But in any case, that's it. It's not so bad measuring current. So I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for watching them. I'll see you in the next video.